to yesterday in the post three wonderful Ottoman style thumb rings from custom made thumb rings archery but I will put the link to their Facebook site in the description they asked me if they shall send a set and if I want to test them I said of course yes then I had to give them my measurements of my thumb and there I most probably did something wrong because usually they send you a set of three the middle one is, so to say, the normal all-day one. Sometimes your thumb is a little smaller, then you take the smaller one. Sometimes in the heat or humidity, your thumb is swollen, then you take the bigger one. I did something wrong with the measurement, so only the big one uh, fits barely around my thumb. So we forget the small ones, so I test now the big ones. But of course, when you do the measurements right, everything is wonderful. So let's put it off for a second. So what do we have? We have, where is it? somewhere in the depths of my pockets. This is to whom we have to compare it. This is a brass model of an Ottoman style thumb ring. And what you already see, what I don't like on this ring is that this ledge here is not existing. So you have the string completely cutting into your flesh, at least in mine. So that's why I don't like this ring. When you see this ring, he has here a small part and with this part, I guess you can hold the string nice in place while you shoot. So now let me shoot now an arrow. They fit really good. And usually I don't like the small rings because they apply a lot of pressure and they are painful. But this one sits, it, it's really well made. So there is no cutting, no nothing painful. But of course I can't shoot today 50 pounds or something because of my shoulder, so I shoot a less forward for. Let's see. Wow. With this small ledge here, you have the perfect control of the string. The ring feels really good. For a plastic ring, really, really cool. Did I mention that it's plastic? But I think one can see. And a crisp release. I shoot now with this brass ring I have from Hungary, and then you see the difference. Only as a comparison, the normal brass one, it's a little smaller, it's thinner, and it does not have this ledge. Do you call this ledge? I call it ledge, but you know what I mean. So this one is. It, it always feels like the string goes a little behind, then you have your skin a little pinched and then when it rolls forward it goes all, the string goes all around this sharp corner here and I think it will wear out the string very quick. So I shoot one more time. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's even... It's so thin everywhere, so it's everywhere sharp corners, so when you apply pressure, you directly, now you see it. It's, it's really, it's cutting a little into the flesh, but of course you can get used to this one. I shoot the other one one more time. I don't know which one it was. He likes it. Huh? He likes it. Oh, this one was the wrong one. This one is even smaller. Where did I put it now? There it is. He likes it. Yes, he likes the thumb ring. So, last shot with the custom made thumb ring and they have a lot of different ones, they have a nice Manchurian one, they have a Phoenician I think, they have different ones so it's really worth to check them out, they have them even in metal then so check out on their Facebook page, they are really cool, you always get a set so you are really safe for every thumb condition. So, thumbs up for these thumb rings. Thank you very much for watching.